Welcome to the Windows channel and this is another video in our Fall Creators Update full review. We're going to take a look at settings and some of the settings that are worth mentioning that are going to be, uh, that are new basically for the Fall Creators Update. So let's head on to settings. And of course, as we said in a previous video, there's been a change in the layout of settings. There's a new Cortana um that's added and you know there are a few things that have changed uh there's phone also that's been added and most of these settings have been tweaked and changed one of the first changes minor but every every setting has now got its own icon to represent what it is so they've really worked for that and want to make sure that every little icon available there's a few things on the device itself that are interesting. Um, in the storage, we have the new storage sense that now has been actually uh, made better. So basically you can now uh, have automatically um, delete files in your download folder f after 30 days if you wish. Storage sense also um, has new ways of how you want to free up space in your computer. A very handy little delete previous versions of Windows. Check mark you can put here and you can click, click, clean now button, sorry. Uh, so there's a lot of little things that are interesting in this storage sense that's made, made better. Storage sense was part of Windows 10 in the past few uh, bills, of course, but it's being tweaked for better and for improvements, of course. So this is one of the things that's pretty interesting. What will happen also, a lot of the options will have videos on the sidebar. So here you see there's uh, information and you can have get help setting uh, this up and so on. Depending on what you're looking at, you will have uh, either little information here on the right side or you can have videos sometimes you'll have videos that will be uh, according to what you want to do on your computer so i think this is a good idea because a lot of people um, were wondering sometimes about what these settings do and how to use them so there's kind of some information about what this will all do uh, also and um, there's a new option for uh, video playback. So when you actually do some video playback stuff, there will be some new um, experience. You can actually tweak the video playback settings. So if you type video playback, you see here video playback options. This is new settings. How do you want your video playback to go and the type of support that you can have. So this is, of course, something that is new. So you can tweak the quality of the videos depending on your PC, on the performance of your PC. These are new little things that is quite interesting for this and will, of course, optimize. You can optimize video playback for battery life and so on. Um, you can you know, play lower resolution if you want. It will force the video in the lower resolution if you wish to save battery life or to you know, in the cases where sometimes it might actually uh, not be um, suitable for a device because it doesn't play well because of high quality videos, for example. Uh, there's also in the Windows update and security some new stuff. So um, one of the most notable interesting stuff about the Windows updates is the advanced options. There's a lot of little things in the advanced options um, you can, of course, and this is a pro version, so I can pause some updates if I want, but there's delivery optimization that is new. And delivery optimization in the advanced option will give you a switch. You can throttle between how much of the bandwidth for your internet connection is used for updates when it's downloaded to your PC. You can do a monthly upload limit to the PC. So if you have uh, a limited bandwidth cap, for example, you can play around with these settings. Uh, you can also, um, you know, check out because you'll have the information here of how much did 
the downloads or the updates this month take of my internet bandwidth. So here it says monthly up, up, upload not to date, not available because uh, this is insider builds and I've been basically reinstalling all the time. But once we get cumulative updates and stuff like that, you'll see that this monitor will actually start giving you the amount of megabytes or gigabytes updates are taking every month. So if you're, you know, wondering what is taking all of that um, space and, uh, you know, maybe data off your internet connection, you'll have that information available. Also, uh, you have, of course, the uh, Cortana area that is now brand new and has its own settings. So in Cortana, you'll be able to actually play around with the settings. It has its own little spot now within the settings. You will have a new phone uh, place if you've got a smartphone, be it an, an iPhone or a an Android phone. It doesn't matter. This, you can add the phone there. If you have Cortana installed on either your iPhone or your Android phone, it will start giving notifications. It will start giving you possibility of continue on PC. You're viewing a web page on your Android or your iPhone and you want to send it, there's a new option, send to PC. It will actually open your browser and show you the same page that you were actually looking at on your phone. Kind of, you know, some interesting options in there um, that, that I, I think are, are kind of cool. Uh, slight changes in the order of the settings categories. Now, some people were saying, well, do you, can you just, you know, change all of that and, and have it in your order? No, unfortunately, it's still like this and you have no way of really um, changing the order. And uh, yeah, I think that would be a nice idea to have for sure. So uh, this is uh, really an interesting aspect to this. Of course, tweaking of every different settings of so network and internet has its own little tweaking of how things appear. A lot of the slider, the, the check marks are changed by sliders. Uh, and, and that is a, a big change also, because before there was a lot of settings that were like little, you know, uh, just put a check mark to put it on or off. Now it's a little slider on off slider instead. You know, these are little minor tweaks, but they changed the way in the feel of Windows. Of course, new gaming options. This is going to be very, very, very popular with gamers probably. With the game bar, how it works, when you can turn it on. The game DVR, you can record your gameplay. You can broadcast your ga gameplay. So this is, of course, going to be very popular also with gamers. Uh, there's a new game mode that makes uh, basically your Windows 10 give the best performance possible to the game that you have. True Play, which is basically um, share system settings or information so that everything runs the way it is meant to be between gameplays. Xbox networking with, of course, the information of the performance and the way that all of that is, you know, the lag that you have in milliseconds and so on. A lot of interesting stuff for gamers. Remember, we'll take a look, much closer look at all of these things in the coming weeks. And uh, basically, it's uh, really, really nice if you have mixed reality possibility, all new mixed reality information available in here. It depends on if you have mixed reality headsets or not. And uh, basically just, um, you know, whole set of new settings and settings that have changed or been improved. So uh, this is going to be an interesting aspect and we'll take a look at all of that. It's coming in the next, you know, weeks and days because we're going to really, really go deep into how all of this works. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you enjoyed this series on the full Creators Update review.